and uh, we look at this red HDRX clip. Uh, we get quite a lot of it, questions on HDRX. Um, it's designed by RED and when you shoot, you put it into HDRX mode and it actually shoots two exposures at the same time into the same file. So when you actually look at it, it doesn't actually tell, it doesn't appear as two clips. Um, it does actually have a little flag somewhere that says high dynamic range on it. It's not always obvious though to us that it is. Yeah. So... We need to, let me if I do that there, no, it just flags it as red. Let's scroll across, see if we got any more information. There we go. HDRX in there. So the X means it's a high dynamic range clip. A few things we can do with it in the grading. We can go to our raw here, put it into clip mode, and you have blend. Magic Motion does the best job of blending the highlight exposure which is the very quick exposure which should capture all of the bright information there and the normal exposure which is should be him and if you use the blend you can go between the two and somewhere you will get something that mixes between the two exposures say something like that now, normally you'd make a slightly flatter image. Problem with this being is, as we've now mixed the two, I could then take that and grade that. But if we look at that, look at his ear. Why is that? That's because of the movement. There's two exposures. So when it moves we get a double image. There's not too much you can do about that because he's moving around. Okay, if he wasn't and he was just sitting in the chair there as a talking head, I could blend that together. I've got information in the sky. I could key a little bit of blue off it and work with it. But as soon as he moves, I'm in trouble. Now, you can do this a little bit in Resolve as well. So take that magic motion to none. And what you can do is... Just on that first node there, just see whether we can maybe just grade a little bit more information down. I'll just bring my scopes back in just to here. So you can see we're probably fully maxed out here on the sensor there on that exposure. Even just bringing my flat down and things doesn't help me too much. So what I need to do is make a layer, optional, and right click on the gray background here and add a source and it gives me another input little box here select left click to select the link and delete that then drag that from here into there because it's a layer a layer has priority whatever comes in on the bottom input will override the top so all we are now seeing is that quick exposure. We can see some blue sky, but we're not seeing so much in him. We come down to here, go onto the key here. It looks like the key to the door, your front door. And then you'll gain, slightly bring that down. So going to negative, and you bring back a mix between the really great sky and detail in him. Bad news is you still have the problem with the double image. So whether you do it Da Vinci, whether you do it in Magic Motion, Red's answer. Uh, of course, you could key it a bit more, which is the advantage of doing it here. It takes a lot of work because there comes a time where you're just trying to put too much dynamic range into, into what we could see on this TV into our normal dynamic range, our viewing uh, dynamic range. You can't do it. You can't fit all those stops or 16 stops, as they say, into something we can see like on this set here. So it doesn't work. And when you do it, it just looks wrong. It's very hard to key. So HDRX, great if it's a locked off shot and it doesn't move too much. Uh, if it does, then really you're in trouble a little bit.